fact or fiction. Multiple Myeloma, brought to you by the Patient Empowerment Network. What are the common myeloma misconceptions about treatment side effects? I think the biggest thing is the loss of hair, the nausea and fatigue, and to the point that I cannot travel, I cannot see my family, I'm gonna be so immunosuppressed. And again, that's a huge misconception. Yes, there is toxicity for every drug. Even if you take aspirin, you have toxicity, but every drug has risks and benefits. And currently the combinations we have are just impressive that uh, they are well tolerated in general. I'm not saying there is no side effect, there is um, for mm-hmm. every different class of agents there are, uh, and you will go through those side effects with your doctor in details. But in general, yes, you're slightly immunosuppressed. You have to take care of that if, you know, and I, I said it yesterday to one of my patients, if someone is, you know, looking very sick in front of you, don't go and hug them. You know, Christmas is around the corner and we want to make sure people want to celebrate and enjoy life and enjoy the holidays with their family members. What do you hear from your patients about side effects and treatments that they may think is true? Well, I think neuropathy is very important and we mm-hmm. underestimate the neuropathy. So if you have numbness and pain, tell your doctor. That comes from Velcade. It comes from thalidomide when we used to use thalidomide, but it can happen uh, in many patients who have an underlying amyloidosis and we did not diagnose it yet, or it can just happen as you go on from myeloma, rarely. So tell your doctor about this. Mm-hmm. I think the fatigue um, is very important to know about it because people you know, suddenly change their life and they want to know about that. I think the rashes that can happen with mm-hmm. many of the drugs are very important to know about so that you're not surprised when you get a rash. Uh, we know, for example, Revlimid can cause itching of the scalp. And that's something that sure. if we don't tell the patients and they start going like this, then there is a problem, right? So yeah. it's- small things, but they, we want to let them know. And we usually tell the patients everything to a point of just going through all of the side effects. It's better to be aware of it. And right. then if you get it uh, or not, then at least you were aware. You mentioned neuropathy. Let's talk a little bit about what that is. So neuropathy can come in different ways, but the most common one is numbness and tingling that you have in your tips of toes and tips of your fingers. Um, And that can happen from medications, as we said, or from the underlying myeloma or amyloidosis. It can be painful. And we're careful that if you have this, tell your doctor, because it gets worse and worse. It's very hard for us to reverse neuropathy. So just always tell us because we can stop the drug, we can uh, decrease the dose rather than having you go through it. Mm -hmm. 